All right, so let's give um, the equation to these two lines. So let's say this one here, R1 is, I don't know, 1, 1 plus T of um, 4, 3. Let's say this one here is, you know, maybe negative 4, 3 plus T of um, 5, negative 1, okay? And what we want is we want to find this angle. Okay, that, that's the goal here. And we can do that by what? Does something come to mind? If you're given two lines with point and direction, how could we find this angle? Is there a point of finding the line here? Okay, so we find it through dot product. Remember dot product? Oh, I see. This represents the angle between u and v, doesn't it? And then you just move that. All right, so if I isolate this, I get u dot v. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And so these vectors here, they may or may not be here, okay, at the intersection point, but we don't really care, right? Because vectors are movable, right? So if there's a vector here like this, you can move this to the end here. Yeah. You know, if there's another direction here, you can move that to there. So if I were to move this here like this, that will also be theta. So we don't need to care about the points. We just need to find the angle between the two vectors, the direction vectors. So u in this case is, let's say, 4, 3. V is 5, negative 1. So this is going to be uh, 4 squared, 3 squared. We don't need to care about the negative because we're squaring everything er anyways. 5 squared, 1 squared. Dot product, 4 times 5 is 20 minus 3. This is 5 times by root of 26. So we need a calculator for this. All right. Uh Point two degrees accurate to one decimal place and that represents the acute angle sometimes if you have a the numerator to be negative you're going to get the obtuse angle but the question will ask you to find the acute angle all you have to do is this, if you found this to find this one you just have to do 180 minus yeah, uh, that degree. right Acute. yeah so uh, just be aware that if the top is negative you will get an obtuse angle yeah, you have to do 180 minus the given angle to get the accurate angle. Okay. Uh, so we, th we could disregard the 1, 1 and the negative. Point. Yeah. So th those points are a little bit more important in three dimension. But in this section, we're only dealing with two dimensions. So they're actually... Just points. Don't need to care. Because you know that two lines that are not parallel will always intersect. Yeah. That's not the case in three dimension, though. 